California dealer license. Are you interested in selling vehicles? This California auto dealer license lookup will help you start down your career path. Use the California vehicle salesperson license lookup to determine what you need to do to get your license. First, get some additional details about selling vehicles in California. Planning on getting your dealer's license and want to check its status? Or do you want to confirm that someone else has their dealer's license? A California auto dealer license lookup is a quick way to achieve the second goal. Before you use a California dealer license lookup, there are a few things you should know. How many cars can you sell in California without a dealer's license? California law allows you to sell up to five cars a year without a dealer's license. Instead of selling the cars as a dealer, you'll sell them at a private party. This is most common for people who flip cars for a profit. They purchase used vehicles, register them in their names, pay the sales tax, and resell them. Every state has a different limit on how many cars you can sell per year without a dealer's license. In California, you can sell up to five each year. If you sell more than this, you need a dealer's license. This license will not only let you sell more than five cars, but it also lets you appear on the California DMV dealer license lookup. How do you get a California car dealer license? If you want to be listed in the California Auto Dealer License Lookup, you need to get a dealer's license. California offers four types of licenses for dealers. If you want to sell new or used vehicles, you'll need a new or used commercial auto dealer license. You'll be able to sell the vehicles to other licensed dealers as well as the general public. Are you only interested in selling used vehicles? The used commercial auto dealer license is what you need. You can still sell to other dealers and the general public, but you'll only be able to sell used vehicles. If you don't want to sell to the general public, you can get a wholesale dealer license. This license will allow you to sell to other vehicle dealers. Finally, you can get an auto broker license. Once you hold this license, you can assist others in buying a new or used vehicle. This includes arranging the purchase and negotiating the price. If you get this license, you'll be on the California Vehicle Salesperson License Lookup. The process you take to get your license depends on the license you want. If you want to apply for a wholesale dealer or used vehicle dealer license, start the process with a training program. The six-hour program ends with a 40-question test you have to pass. Regardless of your license type, you will need to have a permanent business location. If you want to sell new or used cars to the public, you'll need to get a car lot. The car lot must meet the guidelines set forth by the state of California. First, it needs to be large enough to house the vehicles for the business. For instance, you don't want to buy a car lot that can only accommodate two vehicles. It needs to have a large display area that's only used for showcasing the vehicles. Your dealership needs to have an office that the public can enter from the outside. It must have a phone, filing cabinet, and desk, and it also needs to house your business records. You will also need to get a California Department of Tax and Fee Administration seller's permit, open a dealership bank account, get a location, get your dealer bond, and have fingerprints taken. The state of California requires that dealerships have signs that are at least two square feet as well. Make sure the sign meets the guidelines in the California Vehicle Code. You also need to make sure that your car lot meets zoning requirements before moving forward. Next, you'll need to get the licenses and permits for your business. 
The Board of Equalization furnishes resale and seller's permits, while your city or county will provide a business license. Make sure you get a fictitious occupational license if you're operating under another name. California requires a place of business inspection before you can operate as a dealer. You need to make an appointment with an occupational licensing inspector. After you pass the inspection, secure your auto dealer bond. Then, download the application from the California Department of Motor Vehicles website, fill it out, and submit it. How do you get a dealer's license without a lot? If you search the CADMV dealer license lookup, you might find some dealers that don't have car lots. These people have a wholesale dealer license. If you want to get a wholesale dealer license, you'll need to go through the same steps as you would for a new or used car license, except you won't need to secure a car lot or undergo an on-site inspection. Is it worth getting a dealer's license? If you want to buy and sell or flip cars, then it is usually worth getting a dealer's license. This lets you sell more than the state limit of 5 cars per year. It also gives you access to dealer-only auctions, where you can find some great deals. You also get access to wholesale car pricing. Getting a dealer's license can also give you some tax benefits, including writing off car-related purchases. What is the difference between a dealer license and an auction license? When most people refer to a dealer license and an auction license, they are referring to a retail dealer license and a wholesale dealer license, respectively. Both of these licenses let you sell to dealers and at auctions. If you want to sell cars to the public, you should opt for a retail dealer license since this is not allowed with a wholesale dealer license. No matter which of these licenses you choose, you can buy your cars from dealer-only auctions or any other source. The other important difference is whether you need a car lot and an office. If you want a retail dealer license, you need both. If you want a wholesale dealer license, you do not. People with this license type and no location or office typically form a partnership with someone with a retail dealer license, being a dealer under a dealer. What is a California occupational license? When you apply for your dealer's license, you will notice that you go through occupational licensing. Occupational licensing is a part of the state's DMV. It handles the monitoring and licensing for dealerships and other businesses related to vehicles. How do I check the status of my occupational license? It is easy to check your occupational license status with a California dealer license lookup. You can find the relevant portal on the California DMV website. It is called the Occupational Licensing Status Information System. You just enter the business category, the business name, and the city and or zip code. Or you can enter your license number if you know it. Can a felon get a dealer's license in California? You are not automatically rejected from getting a dealer's license in California if you have a felony or any other criminal charges on your record. The background check mostly looks at whether any crimes you committed would interfere with your ability to ethically run a business. This means that depending on your felony, you may still be able to get a dealer's license. You are likely to be rejected for one if your felony is related to fraud, property, or persons or autos, such as title forgery, auto theft, or odometer tampering. However, if your felony is a non-violent crime that is not related to buying or selling cars, it may not affect your application. Examples can include shoplifting and DUIs. Just keep in mind that you typically have to complete all of your sentence requirements then wait three years before you can get a dealer license. Choose a license type and get started. Decide how you want to move forward with your career. Then, begin the process to get your license. 
It won't be long before your name or business is listed on the California Vehicle Salesperson License Lookup or Dealer License Lookup.